And TNT got into the penalty situation early in the fourth quarter. Kelly Williams with another nice move, layup a bit short. As Aaron Black pushing for Meralco. AB sets up Newsom. Three point shot on the way. Still nothing there. One of ten. Ooh. And Cliff Hodge with a dive in the save. Newsom on the cut. Extra pass down low. Raymond Almazan kicks it out to Aaron Black with four to shoot. AB launches from deep. No good. Put back. And the buzzer for New. Ooh, that was. Already great defense uh, from uh, Calvin of Tana, but nobody stopped uh, Newsom from getting the put back. Where did Newsom come from? There he is, as he was able to launch it before the buzzer sounded to extend their lead to three points. TNT at the lower half of the standings. We're used to seeing seeing them uh, in the in the top four, or top six. TNT will have to score in this situation because Miralco is slowly gaining momentum. Jason wants a tie. He won't get it. Rebound battle picked up by Alain. A chance now for Miralco to build their biggest lead of the ball game. They led by four points very early in this contest. It was mostly TNT ever since. Near steal for Jason as Black has the ball versus Castro. Hodge, another mid-range look. Won't work. Rebound picked up by Pogoy. TNT is on the rush. Calvin Oftana still scoreless here in the second half. Pogoy, corner three. No. Jason will get them another look. Calvin drives. Oftana is fouled. Well, what a beautiful sequence right there. That pass to... R.R. Pogoy, he was wide open for a shot, just missed it. But again, Jason Castro's effort was there that allowed uh, Calvin of Tana this penetration. And now he will troop to the line for two. So this will be the first point in the second half for Calvin of Tana. He has 20. Coach Chotre is employing a smaller lineup. While Coach Luigi Trillo still has his legit five and legit four in Almazan and Hodge. Also joined by a tall three in Alain Maliksi. Obtana goes two for two. One point game, 87-86. Maliksi posting out. Help defense comes. Oh, he missed it. Scramble for the loose ball, won by Pogoy. And he is going to send it to Obtana. Oftana wants a three, gets oh, it! My goodness. What a big gutsy shot coming from Calvin Oftana against Raymond Almazan. Six three-point conversion of the ball game for Calvin Oftana. TNT leads by two. Aaron Black, counter three, no. Rebound for Kelly. Jason Castro slowing things down here. Waving everyone off. He will just ask for one ball screen. He wants the switch possibly on Alain Maliksi. Jason gets it. Castro with a quick move. Jason finds the angle. Could not sink it. There's a foul. And that will also be the sixth personal foul of Alain Maliksi. He is disqualified from this ball game. And that's exactly why Jason Castro called Glenn Kobuntin for the ball screen. Yes, he, he wanted that one-on-one uh, -on -one with uh, Alain Maliksi, who is in foul trouble. Yep, there was a swipe from the backhand. And then there was a bit of a touch as well on the follow-through. But you can see here, at that point, there was a slight pull. And then there was also contact yes. on... Uh, the forearm of Jason Castro for here in the second half. Oftana was zero in the third quarter, but he made the shots that really mattered as Jason Castro extends their lead to three now. The important one to give them a two possession advantage.
Second free throw for the blur is a miss. So that will leave the door open with still a lot of time remaining. Bonquinto check in there for Alain Maliksi. Aaron Black with Oftana switch on him. Hodge wants to post up against Castro. There's help coming. Newsom kicks it out. Aaron with two to shoot. Black extra pass to Quinto. This will be way too late. 24 seconds of solid defense from the Tropangiga. Yes, uh, that, that's uh, one of the highlights of this game, really. It's the defense of uh, TNT. And they have been so solid with their defense. There were no options for uh, the Miralco Bulls. This could have been a shot, but uh, the, the pass was a bit off. Mm -hmm. It was a rushed pass at that because he was already in trouble. Talking about Aaron Black before the turnover. Oftana against Rios. Oftana with a step through in the layup. I'm uh, lost for words uh, with that move from Calvin Oftana. And of course, that's a big, big basket for TNT. Layup and one for Bonquinto. So they will stay in this game. They will stay within striking distance because there's 36.3 seconds yes. left. And it's down to a one possession advantage. So smart uh, from uh, Bonquinto to attack immediately. That's, a, that's just a big time play coming from Bong. Stepping in for the disqualified Alain Maliksi due to six due, due to six personal fouls. Pinto could be an endgame hero for the Melalco Bolts. The bonus free throw is down for Bong. And the lead is just two. Coach Shot not burning a timeout. He wants the full 24 seconds. As they want to put the game away with a basket here. Castro selecting which ball screen he would prefer. Jansen Rios on him. Jason with five to work with. Castro attacks towards the left. Jason can't get the left to bite. And this is an opportunity for Miralco. Aaron Black. The left is blocked by Pagoy. Wow. Yes. Hodge will be the lone big man for the Meralco Bulls. It will be Aaron Black as a designated inbounder. Two-point lead for TNT, 7.2 remaining. Here we go. Hodge has it. Hand off to Cholo. Two to shoot. Aaron to Cholo for the win! No! We got one last look at it in the young Jolo Mendoza.